Um, I guess I could talk when I first came in here. Um, when I was 12, I came here to um, Texas. I was born in Mexico City, and I grew up in a town two hours away from Mexico City with my grandmother and my aunt. Um, my dad claimed me, and I had to come over here to live with him and his family. I didn't know any English at that time, so it was pretty hard to go to school. And I was in uh, high school. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do. I had no plan B, um, none at all. I didn't have the money to afford tuition for Texas State. So um, it took me like a year uh, to pass my test, my English test. Um, after I passed it, uh, I just still didn't know what to do for a career. I had no mindset of like getting education in or anything. Someone submitted an application for the ATMA program for me. I think it was my counselor or my guardian angel because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't actually be here. Um, I've got four brothers, so there was always a mess. Somebody was always breaking something. You got to fix it. That mindset kind of led me into the ATMA program, which I did before the AMT program. What does ATMA stand for? Advanced Technology Manufacturing Academy. So joining the AMT program, my mom was really there for me, pushed me and was like, you can do this. So I've been through the whole AMT program and I believe like it's been a great experience. I love what I do. It's just amazing. I'm in training right now, I'm in motor training. So I've been wiring a box with the motor for a while. But it's been really fun because I didn't know how to do that before and now I'm learning every single detail about how to do that. We're actually like in the plant making the cars. It's just fast paced. It's um, like very self-driven, very self-motivated. Okay, so the three words that I would use to describe the AMT program is fun, interesting, and it's hard working. It's really challenging, fulfilling, and never changing. I don't, know, I don't know how to find a word for it. It's just, there's so many components working together just to build this truck and come together. I don't know how to describe just a word that I can find for that. Using creativity at work is probably uh, at least 65% of my job. I get to put my own input into uh, anything that I'm working on. I think something that's been seriously challenging for me going through this point into my life is responsibility. Whenever I applied for the Advanced Technology and Manufacturing program. Um, I think I was one of the only girls that applied for it at my school. I guess it's just like, um, it's just, you know, you put your mind to something, you can, you can do it. And if you want to do that, then go ahead. I wouldn't speak out. I wouldn't do any kind of stuff like that. I always stay behind, just keep to myself. But here it's like, you, can, you actually have a voice and people are going to listen to you. I have more of an ability to be a leader than I thought I did. If I can compete with the big boys, I can do anything. This, the AMT program has helped me in so many different ways. Like, I, I have a job experience now. I'm going to classes. I'm getting into a degree in something I never thought I would be doing. It's like, it's, sorry. Uh, I definitely think that proving to others is what drives me because I grew up with everyone saying, oh, you're not going to make it, oh, you're not going to be anything, oh, you're not going to do this, oh, you're not going to do that. I moved out when I was 17, so I needed the money. And the only way I was able to move out was because I had this job. And I was learning everything and, and I already knew then that even if I didn't stay with Toyota, I was building skills that I can take to any other company that needs welders or fabricators or all kinds of different things. So I knew it was something that I could build with and grow on. Uh, my mom was all for it. She was very happy that I'm like actually pursuing to work. But my dad, he was, um, he wasn't as, he was happy for me, but he was like, I think that's a man's job. But I was like, well, I like working with my hand. It, I, I enjoy my job. So he's, He's been okay with it, but at first he was like, oh, I'd rather you do something else. When I applied, I got in, and then when I told him, well, my ex-boyfriend, he was like, you're not gonna make it. You're, you're gonna be there for like a month or two and you're just, you're not gonna do it, because it's like, not your thing. And I was like, you don't know that. 
So then uh, I went through the, here at St. Phillips, I went through the two years graduated and that's when I joined the program and now I look back at it and I'm like dang like he really doubted me and I proved him wrong and like because of him saying that to me kind of like I'm a crying oh my god because oh well, dang really because of him saying that really puts me in the position that I'm at right now and I'm happy for that. Like, I'm, I'm happy that happened because probably would have, I probably wouldn't even be this proud of myself right now, you know? Most of them really didn't expect that from coming from me because I'm really, I don't look like the type who would be like, oh, I, I, like, I love getting my hands dirty, you know? I like works, working on trucks and um, working with robots. It's not just a job. It's a career that I'm looking forward to, and everything that I do is towards getting hired on at the end of the two years. I was terrified on my first day. I had never been inside of Toyota. I had never seen the videos on inside of Toyota. I was terrified probably for the first six months. I didn't want to break anything. I didn't want to get stuck in anything. I didn't, there had conveyance, and I had never seen anything like that. I had never seen these little tuggers that pull things around that'll run into you if you don't move. Big and scary and it was like, oh, I'm not used to this, like what is this, like oh my goodness. And now it's like the whole plan just seems smaller to me. I feel I'm making a difference in the world by going to work and building their products so I know that the kind of quality they expect from us and if we do have downtime that can affect the customers and we really don't want to do that. We want to make everybody happy because they are paying for the products. Right now, we're doing a lot of training to make sure that we know what we have to do once we do get hired on. So on the job, as an intern, we have a lot of training. It's just the fact that every day, it's not, it's not the same as yesterday. There's something new, always new going on. Everything's very, very fast paced, and it just makes your day go by fast, and you just learn a lot. And when we're training, we're learning about uh, wiring, uh, what goes into programming, what a control panel looks like. So we'll go, we'll look at the conveyor belt, we'll be like, okay, this is what we need. We'll go back to the parts room, get that piece of conveyor belt. I work in the plastics department and there is uh, where we build the bumpers, the dashboards for the trucks. You do something very cool every single day, like um, learning how to weld. You, you never know what you're gonna encounter when you get a call. So every call can be crazy different. You're doing logic, you're fixing pumps or, you know, cool things like that. It's very fun. There's a truck running out of the line every minute in Toyota. So whenever there's a, a breakdown or, or the plant has to stop because of, there's an issue going on, you have to be quick on your feet and think fast to fix it. And I completely, you know, I fell in love with that aspect of the work. To think that even in the slightest it was going to make somebody else's day a little easier is so rewarding. What makes it most rewarding is knowing that I helped a billion dollar company grow. Um, it's pretty exciting because now I feel like I kind of opened the doors for the girls at my work. So it's cool like most girls are like opening to the, the idea of like hey this is not just for guys it's also for girls. So I was never afraid or scared of what other people thought of me or thought I would be doing. Thought, you know, like, wow, you're in a male-dominated place. You're doing a guy's job. I always, I put my mind to something and I went for it. I wasn't afraid to do it. When someone tells you, no, you can't do it, you have to turn around and say, watch me. Girls can do it too. <laughs> yeah. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Don't be afraid of what other people think of you. Always strive for more. Don't be scared to ask questions. Investigate about everything, any little question you have. If you want something, then go get it. Put your mind to it, you can do anything. It doesn't matter if you're short, if you're tall, if you're skinny, if you're not, it doesn't matter where you come from. You could come from nothing like I did. You can do anything if you put in the work. That's all it takes is work. I kind of know that like my life 
Not depends on it, but I know that this is what I've been working for so hard since I've started in my junior year. So I've known, I've always told myself like, you can't quit, like you've come this far. Like I just have to keep on going. Uh, I get my associates with this program. I've been thinking of getting a bachelor's after to go like further in my education. Well, my plan is to move up within the company and then once I retire from working then, there, then I would want to become a teacher and instructor and, you know, teach the future generations. I'm hoping within the next five years, I will buy my first home. I'm hoping really to, to use a lot of the money that I will have earned by then to help my, my family. It surprises me how much I've accomplished at this age. My name is Daniela Avila. My name is Amanda Herrera. My name is Audrey Gonzalez. My name is Crystal Fonseca. My name is Diane Buñala. Good morning, my name is Edelmeida Valenciana. Hello, my name is Jessica Rodriguez. My name is Carla Gonzalez. My name is Alexis Rado. Hi, my name is Lisa Maciel. Uh, good morning, my name is Maria Mendez. I'm an AMT at TMMTX. My name is Nicole Bautista. My name is Vanessa Bencourt, and I am an AMT in the paint department at TMMTX. Hi, my name is Eva Rivera and I'm an AMT.